Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And you may have watched this recently. And there are some things I like about it, but there are some things that are not floating my boat. And I have been playing with adding bloom combination paints to things and been very happy with my results so far. So now I'm contemplating doing it right here, right now, and attempting to use different combinations than I've used before and seeing what happens. This is a color shift from Folk Art. The red that you saw was an Anita's. This blue I made up and uh, it's got a combination of unicorn spit on top of another color. I have been adding gold. I want to just jack that right up so it tips the other way. I don't know if I can do that. Well, in any case, my modus operandi, my MO, has been to add gold, excuse me, black cell activator and then the, and then the magenta cell activator. And they are both by Golden. And I'm going to let that decide to do what it will do in a minute. If I need some more, I'll give it some more. I think that's going to be fine. So I'm going to let... I want a little dish. There we go. doesn't look clean, but it is. I'm going to follow the line of the stuff I'd like to see gone, or at least improved upon. And I'm inclined to add another color that I like. Because I can. And I usually insist on adding the black. Because that seems to be what helps get the cells. I'm really, really tempted to herd some paint and see if I can get away with it. Help that drip down exactly where I want it to go. I think I really should have used the black right there. So I'm going to fix my mistake. Much better. I am just sort of hurting paint, like I said. So I don't know how long this is going to take, but it could be a little while. <laughs> At the rate I'm moving anyway. I haven't used any white today and yesterday I was using some gold But I'm really unsure of if I can get away with the gold or not because it's very very runny And I'm gonna do weird stuff gold and then some black pillow paint just because I can This time I'm gonna try and add some orange do I have the right color maybe maybe not Very close in color. Let's do something unexpected. That is almost an electric blue. I love that blue. Should have used some white. Maybe it's not too late. That's the mica powder available on my Amazon link under show more underneath the video. I'm inclined to grab some of that paint as it comes off there. Whoops. I wonder where that came from. <laughs> Be 
because they're not really heavy pillows and I'm not dumping everything off, I can, uh, I can manipulate things a lot more easily. Including... using a new droplet of paint to lead other paint. And I'm kind of hoping... Oh, that's the wrong thing. I want more pillow paint here. And I want to grab some turquoise that I made earlier. And let's see if I can get away with just a simpler combination. That is some primary elements. Love that color. Stick with the black cell activator. That's funny because my intention was to use the turquoise and it really didn't show up very well. But I am enjoying this series where I take something that I liked okay and make it into something I like a lot. Because I really am getting beautiful patterns and lacing. And I can use the paint I've got to blend what I'm adding. And that's kind of cool. I can also use the paint that's falling down on my tile, which is also pretty cool. And when I feel like I've finally gotten somewhere, I'll stop. But I'm not there yet. I don't really know what I'm going to do next. I'm inclined to try a little bit of cell activator that I know works. Right along that bottom edge. Maybe I'll even blend it in somewhat. So I'm already happier with this entirely than I was. One of my, one of my recent tricks, other than moving that to where it's supposed to be, is to add a dot of paint that's heavier than all the rest and then use it to lead other paint, which is actually working so much, even so much better than I imagined at this moment. That just leaves me with this area over here, which I'm thinking wants something, and I'm really inclined to, to go blue. There's a lot that I like about it, but some of it's got to go. I don't know if I can get all of that to work out, but I'm going to give it a shot. I missed the gold already. But maybe, oops. <laughs> okay. 
Maybe I can just add a little around the outside edge. I might need a little more still. I'm just gonna I'm just going to follow my instincts. And use my tools. That's better. I'm getting there. I got five minutes left. I'm not done yet. I kind of want some gold up here. I'm not sure what kind of how I want that to work though. Maybe I should just add it and not worry about it. That's not too bad. I'm not super super thrilled with uh, this black here. I'm not minding any of that, but I think I'm going to treat it the way I treat everything else. Use, it. Use some cell activator. See if I can drag that through there first so it blends. I might not want to do anything to that now. It's pretty cool. It's cooler now though. I definitely think it's cooler now. gold right there on that corner. Otherwise, that's awesome. I'm actually becoming enamored. I want some pink here. I can see it. So I'm going to do what I've been doing. Whoops, wrong product again. Darn, that's cell activator. Well, I'm going to use pillow paint. And this time, I'm going to use gold. And I said I wanted pink, so I'm going to just go with what I said. Go figure. I don't want that to be tipping. I'm going to use a little bit of red in there, too. Come on. So, at this point, that's not making me unhappy. I might have some blue over here. I really want to do two things at once, and I really can't. So let's go with this. Yes. Cool. Wow. Great combination. And I see that I want to tip something up and grab my little bit of beauteous paint off my... Paint catcher. Not an edge catcher. Just a paint catcher. And use that right there. Cool. I am going to go ahead and use some of that black right there. Oh, okay. Well, there's the thing right there. The one thing you want to watch out for more than anything else. You don't want strands of paint, but fortunately this is a dry canvas. and I should be able to just pick those up with my finger. Cool. And then tap them. And they'll blend in. Wow. I'm really happy with this. This is, for me, this is a big improvement. I'm 
much, much more interesting than accidental art straight up. A lot of accidental elements. Very cool. Hopefully you can see all of that. I still want some blue over here. But it doesn't have to be much. Yeah, I guess it's more than I bargained for. It's all right. I think I have enough blue there so it should turn into something. I'm hoping so anyway. Yes, I got some beautiful cells there. It may not be. There isn't enough paint there to lead it anywhere. I don't think I really need to. But I am going to continue that blue right up there. That's a beautiful primary elements. So I've got two minutes left to tell you guys all the stuff I usually tell you, and then I should probably think about torching. I'd like to kind of pull this color over here, though. That's better. I'm really, really extremely pleased with the improvement in this. It's not, you know, monumental. And yeah, I took my time. It was like 20 minutes for sure. Well, 17 anyway. So Teespring under the video is clothing that I put my designs on and there are all over print t-shirts and leggings. And if you want to help me out, and I appreciate your help, um, you can shop there. Uh, <clears throat> there's some awesome stuff there, well worth looking for. Another, another place to shop is uh, on my Facebook page, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More, where I've been putting my Fine Art America and Pixels.com wares um, in the form of all kinds of prints and canvases and shower curtains and duvet covers, you name it, it's there since 2013. I'm just tweaking a few things, seeing if there's anything, any, any last minute thing I want to add and uh, there's a couple things. I don't mind outlining that edge right there. Kind of makes it a lot more dramatic. Not unhappy with that at all. The skewer comes in really handy. These are much thinner blooms and puddles. Let's see if there's another side. Anyway, I better hurry up. Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram underneath the video along with my paint pouring recipe. You can find playlists on my channel, genres and lists of a hundred each. If you look under all playlists, you'll find created playlists and they'll it'll lead you through that that 1200 videos that are nicely organized. So far so good. I keep working on it all the time. I'm trying. If you're looking for uh, the the wet and dry artworks that are edited so far, that's a Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio, fans and collectors, and you can find what I've been doing there. What else? Um, thank you guys for over 85, 600, some odd thousand subscribers, and uh, if you want to really help me out, the only thing the YouTube algorithm does to help me is place me in better places if people watch the videos longer, and there seems to be an issue right at the moment with people not seeing that they've watched this the amount of time that they know they have but um i still appreciate you guys trying i appreciate you guys binging too so thank you for that um <laughs> if you watch the commercials of course that's going to help a lot uh, i know sometimes they're too long my amazon link has the oxo armlet turning spatula which is amazing and the uh christian r2 catalyst spatulas also that's the first blue link under show more underneath underneath the video when you open it up and uh, you can find list number one has all kinds of cool stuff in it. I'm really, really pretty well pleased with this. I'm, I have no idea what I'm not telling you other than could you give me a thumbs up? I'd really appreciate it. And thank you for watching the videos longer. And uh, oh yeah, there's a drawing on the end screens. So look for the exhibition video. It'll show you the prizes for any given month, PayPal or Patreon, on my channel header and links under the video. $10 minimum gets you a choice of three of the 15 paintings if you happen to be the winner. I love you guys. Take care. This is